Good morning from Kingsbridge. It's a glorious day today and it's happened on a Sunday, which is really nice. Um, just on my mooring at the moment at the head of the estuary um, because as usual, I've come out too early. So it's about another half an hour for the tide and then I'll be able to get out. So what we're going for today is hoping to get out to the southwest onto a little reef. So um, I've got on one rod some tiny little sabikis. Uh, I buy those like this in sets of six but that's a bit too much so I cut two off um, and just use a string of four. Also got some good old mackerel feathers and we'll turn this around. On the last rod I've just got um, a boom sliding boom and then about oh, what's that seven foot and going on to my favorite lure or certainly one of them um, a four inch uh, red tailed jerry from Sidewinder and we're hoping for uh, some bass maybe some cod uh, and some mackerel we will see Okay, so we're uh, just about at the bar at the uh, head of the estuary. Let me show you around. This was not forecast at all. What a day. Let's get out there and see what's about. What a day out here. Um, we're about um, two miles from where I want to be uh, and there's a little feature um, here on the bottom so uh, uh, the reef I'm going to fishes really well on lures but it's always nice to have a little bit of bait um, so um, just a quick drop here see if there's anything about um, be nice to have some mackerel for, to uh, eat as well as uh, as well as one for bait um, so we'll just give the um, Little sabikis ago. Oh, this is not an ad, but the uh, sound is looking particularly quiet, I have to say. Um, so, yeah, we'll just take a trip down to the bottom, see if there's anything there, and if not, we'll move on to the reef. The, the reef holds bait as well, so um, uh, you know I'll probably have a, the first drift, see how the drift goes along, and uh, put the sabikis or some feathers down, uh, see what we can pick up. This is absolutely stunning today and not forecast at all. Nice when it falls on a weekend. Not looking like it. If there was a big shoal of bait around, it would show on the sounder. Um, but if there's just the odd one or two mackerel or sand eels swimming around, there's always uh, there's always a chance you might pick something up. Um, so worth a try. But with the sounder looking as clear as it is, not worth trying for too long. So I had to stop here. Oh, stay up. <laughs> this little fella. Good morning. I'd have caught some bait, I'd have given you one. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Yeah, just the sabikis doing their job. 
Something not very large on the on the Hawkeyes. One lawn's just got off and one completely wrapped up. Let's see if we can let that one go. Down again with the hook eyes. It's amazing the little size 12 hooks, what they uh, what they do. intent on tying themselves up today. Well I've no idea what's going on here. This is the lawns. Um, it, there's no bite, it's just got heavy. Not massively heavy, but certainly heavier than the lawns. There's the problem with fishing two rods at the same time. What a mess! One little gurner just dragged it into the feather, dragged the feathers into the uh, one with the lawn sonnet. I'll sort this mess. There he is, all tangle free. How clear that water is, absolutely beautiful. That's my tangled mess sorted, or more to the point, cut off and re rigged. I'll sort that out at home. Um, we've got slack tides at the moment, so and no wind, which I'm not complaining about, it's glorious. Um, but the trouble with slack tide is the boat can drift around a little bit and you can get tangles like I did especially if you're fishing with two rods which um, is not great uh, so what we've got at the moment then um, this one's got um, mackerel feathers back on it still need something to eat tonight uh, so that will just stay a few turns off the bottom and on the ratchet the second problem with slack tide is that the fish tend not to feed um, and it's difficult to know what to do to get them to feed really. Uh, you could put some bait down but I've tried it with a lawn so that wasn't very good. So the other rod, one rod has gone away, save the tangles. Um, with this one I've just swapped it out for um, a slow jig. So this is a sidewinder 160 grams I think it is um, slow dig jig just on uh, a bit of fluoro to a swivel and that's it um, so we'll pop that down to to the bottom um, and see if there's anything about my fishing mate on the bank you might have heard him earlier um, he's had a couple of small codling uh, just about three quarters of a pound, something like that. Um, so the slow jig might entice something bigger off the bottom. If it's there, we'll see. Uh, it's nice to cover a bit more ground, which is why we go drift fishing. Um, but we have got, uh, it's picked up actually, 0.4 of a knot. It was just 0.2 earlier. So uh, um, we will see, you never know. Can't complain just about being out on a day like today, to be honest. That's the bottom. Okay, 
we'll try it around the bottom cod tend to hug the bottom and then we we'll try it a few turns up um, it could attract anything bass um, ling pollock um, or right in the fullness of neap tides more than likely nothing but it's still a nice day nibbly little bites again it means there's stuff down there though so it's uh, it's encouraging because it's a little bit deeper I've swapped rods so um, the uh, fixed spool has got the feathers on it I prefer multipliers in the, with a little bit more depth um, so this is an ugly stick GX2 um, 12 to 20 pound class and a uh, pen fathom 15 lever drag I like it um, the 12 to 20 is perfect for the fishing around here um, it's nice and light nice and responsive you can feel everything that's down there especially when you've got braid on but it's uh, meaty enough to tackle um, certainly the biggest fish that, uh, that are likely to get on the reef. Um, I've had cod uh, 12 pounds, one double figure bass um, and spur dog probably the biggest uh, fish out or certainly the biggest I've caught um, about 14 pounds so not huge for some parts of the world but certainly big enough uh, and for what I do fishing for the pot there are a lot of them are perfect size fish however chicken is looking increasingly likely tonight So we're finally hooked into something reasonable. I'm hoping it's cod. But it is a bit divey, it could be pollock. Wait to it though. Sorry about the dad bod, sun was out. It is a very nice pollock. I try not to catch pollock, but um, you can't do anything about it. They're fishing, they're uh, swimming in the same waters at the same depths, feeding on the same things as um, bass and cod, which I am trying to catch. The unfortunate thing about fishing in 56 meters of water is um, they're always blown, so that that's dead already, um, uh, and it obviously can't be returned. I have got some friends who like pollock, so it won't be wasted. It's a it's a good enough eating size fish, so uh, it will go to uh, a well received home. Well, there we are. That's a, a fishing day for you. Sometimes you catch, sometimes you don't. Um, it was a beautiful day. Nice to see the seal. A uh, bit disappointing that couldn't find a mackerel. Uh, it was a bit like this last year. 
I sold my previous boat in September and really that was about when the mackerel arrived off Salkham. Um, there was plenty in Cornwall and then the other way going round to uh, um, Start Point uh, around there and off towards Dartmouth there was plenty but this little gap in the middle between uh, Plymouth and Salkham for some reason uh, just uh, didn't fish very well for mackerel and that uh, seems to be repeating itself this year but uh, not to worry it was uh, like I say it was uh, it was a lovely day um, the rod was fairly busy just not with uh, things that we wanted um, maybe next time cheers